Hello, this is Arturo Gaming Room Reviews. I'm Arturo, and today I'll be reviewing... Dead or Alive. Uh, this was actually the first game I ever played, Dead or Alive Dimensions. Which is actually, I think, remade from the Xbox version to the 3DS. While this was the first, it kind of introduced me to this genre and the characters and all that. Um, I will get into details about them in a bit. But yeah, what do I think of this version, Dead or Alive Dimensions, for the 3DS? Well, that's why you're here. Today, I will be reviewing it. Let's go. Get ready, fight! <laughs> The story mostly follows different characters, and you basically fight to progress through the story. You follow Kazumi, one of the main characters, and her part, then you follow others, even Ryu, from the Ninja Gaiden series, which is cool. The story mostly jumps around at places. Cutscenes are at points and frozen shots, which is like, okay, why is why did the why did we have this instead of uh, some animation cutscenes? Because there were points where there were animation cutscenes. Then there are points where in the story they randomly jump into a fighting sequence. It's like, okay, that was random. I can say the characters in the Dead or Alive series are interesting, even though there are a lot of fan service. But well, that sounds all right to me. But it is pretty random how it jumps back and forth in this game with the story and the characters. The story is broken up into five chapters. Now the characters I really like in this game is obviously Ryu and Kazumi. Even though... <clears throat> physics. But well, that sounds all right to me. The soundtrack in this game is also pretty catchy, and it changes during your fight with certain characters on a stage. The gameplay is your typical fighting game. If you play Tekken or Virtual Fighter or whatsoever, it's like that. You can pull off different moves, and it's basically similar to other Dead or Alive games. The gameplay mechanics is pretty good. Controls are fine, you can use analog stick or not. While you play the main story mode, they give you some quick tutorials and show you how to move and pull off some crazy ass moves while you're fighting, different combos, etc, etc. The camera is fine, I didn't notice anything wrong with it, but I did notice the menu offers you various things. Showcase, survival, the story mode, and internet. While some I've tried, there is one where you can take a picture of the characters. For mo there is multiplayer for this game, obviously you could go online. I've only played it one time and I found maybe like one person, but I really don't think you'll find really anybody else playing this game anymore. It's pretty much dead, because it's that old. That is if people still play the game. As for replay value, well you could replay the story again if you want. You either have the choice of also going online and playing with someone if you find someone, or play by yourself. You could take pictures of the statues, of the characters, or whatnot. But overall, I think that's about it. There's not much afterwards. You've basically completed the game. You can choose different options on the menu screen, but it, that's what it offers you after that. I mean, that's basically it. While I can say I enjoyed the, the campaign mode, the, the story mode, even though it was kind of hectic how it jumped around, it was fun to play. Enjoyed the characters, and that's what makes this game shine, right? K Kasumi. Whoa, what? Who are you? What should I... Well, Dead or Alive Dimensions was the very first Dead or Alive game I've ever played. The downside to this game is that it doesn't offer you a lot in replay value except for the online, but then again... It's probably dead. Nobody won't really be playing this game. They may all be playing some new fighting game. But overall, I did really enjoy this game. It actually isn't that bad. If you're into the Dead or Alive series, then this may be a game for you. It obviously offers you what the other previous games gave you. They put it together and they, I mean, it, or unless it's a remake of the Xbox. I think it's a remake of the Xbox version. And it's not that bad, it's actually pretty fun. I think I would give it maybe like a 7 out of 10 because it's actually a pretty good game. I really had actually fun playing this game for a time. Interesting characters and all that. If you played the other games, you will like this one. You can add it to your collection if you want. 
So I can thank this game for actually getting me into the series. I may not bother to get the other ones. I might get maybe like the newer one. I mean, the characters look interesting, even though it can be toned down with the sexual and physic stuff. And the beach volleyball one. No. As for my recommendations, well, there's obviously Mortal Kombat, there's Tekken, there's Virtual Fighter, they all have the same type of... Well, Mortal Kombat's a little bit more different. So, you might find something here. I mean, if you want to go for something different, obviously Mortal Kombat feels different compared to this. Tekken feels more like this game, and maybe Virtual Fighter, I don't know. I've only played a few Tekken games. I haven't played Virtual Fighter. Well, this is Arctuality Gaming Room Reviews, signing off. Yeah,